Hello. So we're gonna have another gun short. I did one, and the the, the objective to a, to a gun short is you know the definition of what I consider a gun short is a quick video, oh well, maybe up to ten minutes, probably no more no longer than ten minutes. I just did one that was nineteen minutes. Um, I thought it was short, and then I kind of said, you know, nope, we're gonna do this over. So. Um, there was a couple of things that that drew out the video one of them being uh, my history with North Carolina uh, I grew up in North Carolina uh, born in North Carolina grew up somewhat in North Carolina hopped all over the place because of my dad you know I'm a military brat uh, my dad's a 30-year vet uh, I eventually in, uh, eventually ended up there uh, during uh, middle school and high school finished out high school joined the army and uh hopped around a few places but ended up going uh, being stationed at Fort Bragg for the latter half of my 10 year uh military career so and I'm explaining that because I I've spent most of my life in North Carolina uh up until you know you know I'm, I'll be 55 in March so uh the latter half of my life uh, I've been living here here in in several other places but mainly the meat of it's here uh, in Virginia so I live not far from DC so with that being said I always see people kinda it's it, you know at least recently uh, thinking that Virginia has lost its free state I guess tag you know uh, I don't feel like I'm in a non-free state um, especially if you compare uh, Virginia with such states as um, Connecticut um, New York um, Washington State um, and of course uh, California so I, I somewhat understand I understand a lot about the California laws because I studied up hard because we were supposed to move there my, my family us now uh, and I changed my mind maybe a, a couple of months before you know we were supposed to move um, because of those laws uh, but California is definitely not free it's like on the far end of the spectrum as far as free goes everybody knows that so with recent changes in Virginia legislation everyone seems to think that you know us Virginians or us are, you know Virginia is not a free state as as it you know as it uh, applies to uh, 2A um, that could not be further from the truth uh, we've taken a step back you know we took a step forward uh, maybe 10 12 years ago one of those is we got rid of the uh, 30 day a month gun law right um, and this was before my time of being you know uh, I guess a 2a advocate so by the time I started collecting and, and being involved with guns here in Virginia um that law had since you know because we have a swinging you know leaning uh state government you know every five to ten years we swing left and then we swing right and then we swing left and every time it swings laws change so i think a couple of years before i i started buying guns um i uh uh, I guess the laws had changed. They nixed that 30 days a month, uh, you know, a gun handgun a month law. They nixed it. So of course now, I, maybe three or so years ago, two three years ago, um, the government swung left, and uh, with that, they implemented uh, the 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 one month uh you know one hang on a month law again so we lost that and for some reason 
preemption wasn't struck from the books, but no one is enforcing it. I don't know why. Uh, because the problem with that is, and I'm explaining all this for a reason. Uh, the problem with that is, is that they've given each locality in Virginia autonomy in, in, in adding to gun laws. So you'll see places such as Richmond, uh, a lot of places in Fairfax County, Arlington, uh, and all those areas close to D.C., uh, they're adopting these harsher laws. Uh, so even so, as a concealed carrier, I can buy any handgun. I can buy anything I want. I don't need a permit to buy ammo or guns. So let's 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 move from Virginia. With all that being said, let's move from Virginia. Let's move to North Carolina. Uh, my family lives in North Carolina. My extended family lives in North Carolina. My roots are in North Carolina. Uh, but as as a gun owner, I haven't lived there. Um, and so we were looking for homes in Lumberton. Um, I've looked in uh, Winston Salem. Um, I've looked in Fayetteville, where I'm from, uh, where I graduated, where I grew up. Um, and I noticed a trend because on Reddit, I saw this guy uh, on, on the, the subreddit, uh, CCW subreddit. Um, I saw this guy posting that he had got his concealed carry in Mecklenburg County, which is in Charlotte, in the Charlotte area. And that's that's left leaning. It's a big city. Anytime you have a huge city, it, nine times out of ten, it's going to be left leaning. Uh, not factoring in states such as Texas. Uh, but even then, some of some of their states like Austin are pretty much left leaning. Dallas, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking there it's left leaning, but I'm not sure. I don't live there. But so so this guy, he was saying that it took him. I think it took him like. It was over 60 days, but probably between 60 and 90 days for him to get his concealed carry. And that set off alarm bells because if I move from North Carolina, I mean from Virginia to North Carolina, my my, my, my folks are eld elderly. They're, they're getting up in years. They're in their 70s. Um, and with COVID and everything, I, I worry about them. So we were thinking about moving down there to be closer to them to be able to help out and maybe they can come live with us or if they don't then at least we're close enough to where we can check up on them from time to time that type of thing but one of the things i would have to do is i would ha can have i would have to submit for a, con a north carolina concealed carry permit or concealed handgun permit or whatever it's called in north carolina so we're coming up on the eight minute mark so we i'm trying to compress this as much as possible but but I guess the problem here is is like I had mentioned earlier that I can buy anything I want here without without permit without a permit I don't have to have a, a a permit to buy a gun or buy ammo in North Carolina no matter where you live no matter what county you're in you have to have a permit to purchase ammo you get that from the county sheriff's office not only that in order to buy a gun you have to have permission you have to have a permit you have to submit an application so that they can approve and give you a license to purchase a gun that's both of those are in addition to uh, suppose I wanted to conceal carry I would have to get a third license a concealed carry permit that's three licenses for everyone that ever says that North Carolina is a free state regarding 2a mention that mention that bullshit they are not free it kind of ticks me off because you know I hear these people all the time they're shitting on Virginia and you know what? I don't like some of the changes that, that, that happened with Virginia, but we, we don't have that bullshit. 
<laughs> we don't have any of that. So, so I'm not sure why that's still in place, and I'm not sure why it's so difficult to kind of to to nix those requirements. I'm not talking about the concealed carry permit, but I'm talking about the other two, the purchase permits. That, I mean, you can say that North Carolina is free in one sentence, but if you say it in another sentence, or even if they're back-to-back -back sentences, that negates each other. You can't be that, you can't, I mean, I know that everyone has a definition of what's free um but in, in in my mind i mean i'm i'm not i'm not a sophisticated guy and i'm not simple either but damn when someone tells you that you need a permit to buy ammo in a, in a in a southern state i don't know if there's any other states in in the south that 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 have that I'm not even sure Louisiana has that. Um, so, so it's an oddity, and I know, you know, some people say it's it's a it's a it's a legacy from uh, it's a legacy from the Jim Crow laws. Uh, it might be, but we're we're far beyond Jim Crow at this point. We're we're deep into the the two thousands year wise, deep. So, so I'm not I'm not understanding why those those laws are still in place that would definitely affect my choice in moving to North Carolina uh, you know it's it's painful driving back and forth and checking because I live over 300 miles away from my parents and at, at one point we were trying to drive down there once or twice a month that gets old real quick and and you know there was one point where I was driving down almost uh, back and forth almost every weekend because my wife was stationed up here when I was dating her and I was down at Fort Bragg so I'm very familiar with with that commute it gets it got old a long time ago uh, so so I don't want to do that but if 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 I if I weigh the, all that what I just said in one hand and then take the other hand and put those those two uh, permits in there it's going to be like that. You know, I, 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 I don't know if I can stomach losing, losing, I guess, rights. Because that's what you're doing. If I, if I, if I move from here to there, all of a sudden I have to get three licenses. And yeah, it, it, you know, the process, someone says, well, it could take maybe six days. The thing is, you don't, you don't freaking know. Um, I don't know if there's there, you know, it, you know, if you don't receive your your license in Virginia after a certain amount of a set amount of time. You, you, yeah, you, you have avenues, you have other avenues. I'm not sure if that that's the case with 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 with, with North Carolina. You know, that's kind of it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that I have to do that. And then I'm pretty sure that you have to renew those permits. Uh yeah, I don't want to be stuck in no no recurrent you know recurring cycle of submitting and resubmitting paperwork all the time to submit you know to to exercise a right. It's not a right if you have to do all of that. It's not even a right. I mean, think about it. Uh, a lot of people say, well, you got all these other laws. If, if this isn't a right, then the fact that you have to submit for concealed carry is not right I, yeah i believe that certainly but i'm not going to sit here and say that just because i have to submit for concealed carry that i want to submit for permits to purchase guns and ammo too no that's you know in my mind that's not the way it should work um there should be a minimal amount of government interference in any of that especially in today's world so in, in order for me to kind of get beyond this, the, North Carolina's going to have to fix that shit. I'll just move, maybe we'll, you know, compromise and move closer to, well, we can move somewhere in South Carolina that's not far from the border of, you know, south of North Carolina. Or I can move down south of Virginia so I can be somewhat closer. That's halfway right there, uh, you know, 
and 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 be on that border of Virginia and in North Carolina. But uh, I, I'm not feeling North Carolina all that much. I'm not. I live there. I, I understand. I know. And I know just enough of the gun law to kind of know that I don't want that shit. So I don't I don't have to live there to kind of understand that it, it's going to be a problem for me. So I just wanted to kind of spill that out. Okay, we're at the 15-minute mark. We're about five, four to five minutes over what I wanted. But I wanted it. This is a lot better than, than the last video. So, okay, we're done. All right, bye. Hello. So we're going to have another gun short.